this is a fairly new firearm for me if you can see that 10 millimeter Smith & Wesson it's a model 610-3 610-3 I got used Smith & Wesson I got used but it's a uh, nice shape probably wasn't shot a whole lot um, so I don't know there's not a whole lot of these out there I mean I think they still make them but you know they're not like you just don't see them all the time you know for the 10 millimeter um, and it came with some little metal moon clips and these look these look pretty nice they're not too bad but then I got some uh, some of these moon clips for it which I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this guy that makes them it's uh, easymoonclip.com but uh, it's uh, where's this card at right here but uh, these are these are pretty nice actually they're they're polymer some sort of some sort of polymer you know so I mean they're they're flexible and uh, I mean that to me they're just awesome like the best thing about them is like you don't need anything to load and you can see the one side is uh, beveled right there that's the side the cartridge goes in and then that's uh, the the flat side or the cartridge the primer goes up and you just kind of just twist them whoops and I just twist them like that and they just go right in and then when you want to take them out same same deal you know just go right in and right out pretty easy there you go and you want to take them out same deal you just kind of twist it comes right out it goes right in so I don't know how durable these are I don't know how long they'll last but I mean they're they're a heck of a lot easier than some of the other ones I've seen or had to deal with you know um, and uh, the ones that I really can't stand are the Wilson uh, combat ones they're they're pretty terrible but anyways um, I'm gonna load up a few of these uh, moon clips here Go shoot this baby. See how she shoots.
I got a dirty revolver. I got plenty of uh, empty moon clips here, and uh, you know these rims, the polymer rims, they held up real good. And this gun is just super fun to shoot. You know, you wouldn't think it would have a lot of recoil. I mean, it's got a little bit of punch, not like a you know 44 Magnum, but it's uh, it's definitely even with the the weight and the full lug, it's it's uh, it's got a little bit of punch in the hand. You can tell you're shooting something. Now the SIG ammo that I had, it wasn't quite loaded. Uh, you know what I would consider to be, you know, hot. Um, it was uh, 1,226 feet per second, and the extreme spread 92, standard deviation 21. Now that was the SIG ammo, and then I shot some um, some hand loaded ammo this is just berries uh 165 grain with 14.2 grains of uh, accurate number nine and mine were a little bit a little bit hotter 1291 stream spread 61 standard deviation if you can even see that of 20 so and that was just kind of uh an experimental load for me just kind of a mid-range um you know the berries these bullets uh, plated bullets it says on the box not to uh, go over I think it's like 1250 you know feet per second so I mean I didn't want to like you know push them too hard um, but you know there again it looked like uh, they did fine you know here was the group I shot uh, you know with my hand loads and the first I was aiming about right here, six o'clock, and the first two shots were low. So I pulled my aim up a little bit to more 12 o'clock aim. And that was my last four shots there. And that's, uh, you know, uh, single action, 15 yards, you know, just offhand. So that's, that's not too bad. Um, and that was my hand load. And then for the berries, for the, uh, I'm sorry, for the SIG, the SIG ammo. Here's a target for the SIG ammo, and still, you know, I mean, like I said, I had to pull my aim up, you know, quite a bit, aim about right here, and I was still hitting, you know, down lower, you know, I pulled a few over here, but, you know, the majority of them, besides, I had a couple of low ones here, and it looks like I don't know what happened over there pulled one way over there but uh, you know majority of them were up here I had several you know bullseyes so you know not too bad that's just a mixture of you know single action and double action you know shooting with the gun offhand 15 yards so you know not not too bad I can live with that And you know there may uh, there may be a lot of people out there watching this, and they'll be like, "Why 10 millimeter? Why a revolver? You know, it doesn't make any sense." And it probably wouldn't to me wouldn't have made sense to me a few years ago, but you know, until I actually started hand loading, and I've come to realize that I really like shooting revolvers uh, better than I do semi-autos. Um, I mean, not necessarily better, but I mean, I, I like shoot. I just enjoy shooting them more, you know. Um, and you know, you save your brass. Um, you know, that Glock 21 I've got. I mean, it, it tears this brass up. You know, pretty pretty rough on it. And um, you know, you don't have to pick up your brass. You're not looking for brass. Boom! You got all your brass right here. You know, of course these these are uh, you know rimless. Uh, you know, these are auto. Uh, cartridges so you know you have to use the moon clips on them and uh, these rims uh, polymer moon clips really really work good and uh, you know load and unload so easy and the ones I got with the gun here they're they're not too bad either um, they weren't too bad to load not as bad as some that I've had in the past so but you know it's just a fun caliber 10 millimeter Revolvers to me are just enjoyable to shoot. Smith and Wesson. I mean, I'm sorry, it, just, it doesn't get any better than Smith and Wesson, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, 
yeah, I mean, it's just fun. You know, it's just a lot of fun. And at the end of the day, you know, fun is the name of the game. And just enjoying yourself and shooting guns that you like and doing things that, you know, you enjoy. So, anyways, this has been, a, you know, just a little video here on my Smith & Wesson 610. It's a 610-3, 10 millimeter, 6 inch barrel. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.